What's up guys, it's me Jeremy, and today I want to talk about the most powerful mechanic in the entire game, and that is kiting. Kiting is a vastly underestimated mechanic in low ranking play, and definitely needs to be utilized a lot more. Let's get started. Now the reason why kiting is so damn strong of a mechanic is because it allows you to take absolutely zero damage while still outputting almost your full DPS onto a target. Add on to that that kiting is pretty easy to execute as a team, as all you really need is CC and space, and we're left with an absurdly powerful mechanic. Kiting is so powerful that it's pretty much the sole reason why the support role exists in the first place. The support role is based on kiting enemy opponents, and that's what good support champions excel at. Kiting is also the reason why diving in teamfights is a ridiculously terrible strategy. Now kiting in itself is pretty easy to execute. All you really need is mostly just space and a little bit of crowd control. You run away from your opponents while still hitting them of course, and make sure to stay out of range of them by moving back into the space that you have, as well as crowd controlling them. Now, a lot of inexperienced bruiser and assassin players dive in for the carries and teamfights when they end up just being kited. It's much more viable to simply just kite the enemy tanks for your team and kill them than it is to dive in, as often in the late game, the team that can kite and kill the enemy tanks better is the one that comes out on top in teamfights. The only time it's ever really a good idea to dive in is when the target you're diving in on is out of position. And that leads me into my next point, and that is how to counter kiting. Now, there are two mechanics that counter kiting. One counters it really well, and one not so well at all. The mechanic that does just okay versus kiting is mobility. Mobility can prevent you being kited, but the thing is, is that your target will likely have a mobility ability of their own to counter your mobility. So the true counter here to kiting is flanking. Flanking is likely the only contestant to kiting for being the most powerful mechanic in the game, since flanking is just such a strong strategy due to the fact that it completely destroys the kiting mechanic. To kite properly, the main thing you need is space, and flanking denies space entirely to the opponents by creating an inescapable surround that often leaves the carries vulnerable. In a standard teamfight, the tanks will be in front and the carries in the back, so by starting the fight with a flank from the back, you force the carries to be out of position by switching what is the front and what is the back for the opponents, thus eliminating their space. So what you want to take away from this video is that no matter what role you're playing, kiting will be a better option than diving in onto the opponents, unless you can get a pick or can set up a really solid flank. Protecting your own carries is almost always more important than killing the opponent's carries, as it's easier and safer to do due to kiting. My name is Jeremy, and that's it for my video on kiting. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others on the screen right now. I'd love if you could support me with a like, and please subscribe for more awesome content in the future if you enjoyed this video. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.